Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to some more Arena Total War content. Today we're going to be taking Caesar out for a spin playing some tier 3 artillery because I've heard you guys in the comments calling out to see some artillery gameplay, so here it is. We're going to be bringing one unit of infantry to help defend ourselves and I'm going to be running through a few things that I think you should be doing whilst you're playing as artillery. I also think that Caesar is an extremely strong champion throughout the game, no matter what you're using, whether you're using artillery, peltis, cavalry, or infantry, solely because of his skill set, which we'll take I a look at now. So then he goes ahead and gives a melee defense buff plus a melee attack buff. And this is huge. If you, say, for example, have two Germanicuses, exactly the same units, exactly the same levels, coming into one another, obviously the one with a Caesar behind buffing will go ahead and help just chew through that infantry really quickly. And this is at a low tier as well. I haven't spent, I think I spent maybe like 5%. Yeah, I've gone ahead and increased his melee attack buff by 5%. But the higher tiers, you can get it up. I think these are like 10% each. Yeah, these are 10% each. So what's that? 20% plus these five. So that's 30%. So that's 60% increase at tier six. That's a huge difference. That's better than vengeance, for God's sake. Yeah, that is actually better than vengeance of that tier. At, yeah. Literally better than Vengeance, that's insane. And you can chain this buff on each one of your units as well, which again I'll show in this battle. So Caesar is really good. His next ability is uh, to increase speed as well as just making artillery just shoot a lot better, uh, which again we'll see. And then finally his last ab ability, Vici, is supposed to stop enemies using their orders. However, it really doesn't work because you can't use it whilst you're in combat or if you've been recently attacked. However, the radius is so small on that ability that it's almost impossible not to be in combat and use it at the same time. Hopefully that it either gets like a, an increase in its radius or it gets a, a kind of a, a different kind of getting back recently attacked in melee modifier taken away from it. Because I think, I think at the moment, Vici is just a really underpowered skill. And if this does get sorted out and actually working properly how I think it's intended to work, I think it's going to be really good. So we're, we're taking the acid smoke uh, consumable as well as the oil pots and the spikes on my infantry. So I think the acid smoke uh, consumable, which I have on one of the artillery pieces, is so useful. Because one, it does AoE damage. It might not do as much upfront damage, but it does AoE damage and damage over time if an enemy stays in a certain position. But also, I think the most important thing about is about, about the uh, Acid Smoke is that it decreases the enemy's morale. So if you get a few good hits off with the Acid Smoke before the infantry lines do clash, like, I don't know, like 5 or 10 seconds before they do go into one another, the enemy's going to be charging into that battle with, like, half, well, not quite half morale. I think it's, like, one, uh, two-thirds morale. I think it takes, gets rid of a third of its morale, which is huge because if you have, say, a Scipio around and he goes ahead and pops his Warcry on top, of that then you can almost literally just route the enemy infantry straight away without even getting a rear charge like a left flank plus acid, acid smoke plus maybe Scipio's war cry will just route enemy infantry straight up which I think will be really useful cool from Opelite this is always a fun map to to use artillery hopefully we have a, a half decent team because the tiers are a little bit messy this early in the morning when I'm recording this obviously it being a closed beta there's not as many players in the game itself but it looks pretty decent and we have a shit ton of artillery holy crap we have six pieces of RT. um we should all just defend uh, as we have six RT. Yeah, we should all just sit back. And this is what you should do. You should analyze your team comp and then try and communicate that with your team. So everyone just sit around base. Let them come to us. Cool. Just me being the commander, being tactical. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be fun. Six units of artillery. Now, even though we've been doing a lot of damage at range, if the enemy get close to us, you've got to imagine that we, you know, these three units of artillery could be three or these six units of artillery could all be six units of uh, infantry. So that's almost 600 men we don't have on the field of battle. So the enemy can use that to their advantage and push on and uh, really try and attack us. So let's form up. I think we have a really good position. We're obviously probably going to all form up along here, I would assume. Uh, it's annoying that that guy's kind of taken my position. They've all kind of taken my position, but whatever. We'll just chill and we'll run up here. We'll be a little bit slower, but that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to try and tell him to move, maybe. Uh, we can actually go ahead and ping him uh, to move. I just tell him to do that, maybe he will. Hopefully he will. Come on, let me go there. No, okay, he's not going to. That's fine, though. We can just push up. 
which is cool. So let's make our way up here as soon as we can, and then we'll set up. Because the quicker we set up, the better we will be. A lot of the team doesn't look like it's moving yet, but that's fine. Yeah, we have a really defensive team, so we should just straight up defend. We got one of my teammates going over here. And that's good. The more we kind of, you know, set our artillery up in interesting positions, the better. So I think I'm going to set up mine over here. And I'll show you guys just the power of Caesar and the power of artillery in this game. But as I said, if you look... Oh, God, they must have a ton of artillery as well. Because look at the numbers. Just sit in base. Sit in base. They have a ton of RT2. And we have man advantage. Uh, okay, this is the annoying thing. I wish I don't understand what, why people do this. If you look at our balance of power right now, we have the man advantage. So we don't have to attack the enemy. The enemy have to attack us. Because if they don't, the timer will run out and we will win. So because of that, the enemy have to be a bit more aggressive. They have to put their, push their artillery forward. So because of that, we can sit back, play defensive, make them get out of position and then push. Because as you can see, yeah, we have the man advantage right now. Even with six pieces of artillery, which is just absolutely crazy. Oh, we have to be very careful here, spikes. Don't, don't be a fool, my friend. Don't be a fool. Don't run into my spikes. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like they have to come to us. And I see a lot of that, even in tier 6 gameplay. People just attack because they're like, oh crap, artillery, we should attack. Yeah, you can see their artillery shooting now. But we don't need to attack because we have the man advantage. If this timer runs out, we're going to win the battle. So they physically have to attack us or they lose the game. Okay, cool. They've got this position. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready to start raining down hellfire uh, down upon the enemy. So let's do this. Also, we can pop one of Caesar's buffs, uh, which goes ahead and hugely decreases this. And we'll get some shots off. Yeah, nice. Yeah, lots of damage there. The annoying thing is, though, you have to do these guys separately, which is really annoying. But he's still staying there, but I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, you have to constantly, like, change between these guys, which is really dumb. I don't know why you can't just select both of them. There you go. He's running now. We can maybe catch him in the woods here. This is our, like our max range. Okay, they're also pushing elsewhere. They're also pushing over here. Okay, we definitely want to be focusing down this artillery. I mean, these archers. These archers are really key to us killing. So I'm just going to let the AI control uh, one of them. We really want to be focusing down this, uh, these archers. The archers can be so annoying to deal with. Now, we still have the advantage, so we're fine. We just need to be playing defensive and raining fire down on the enemy. That's a good shot by my friendly artillery. Like, I think we have a lot more artillery than the enemy, so... Again, we're just going to be focusing back here somewhere. War dogs right here. Actually, I want to be focusing on the war dogs if I can. Like, right here, I think. We have units under attack. Is that third piece shooting? It isn't. Oh, look at the damage. And it's AoE damage. That's perfect. Lovely. Keep it up, boys. Look at the damage we're sticking in the morale. We've almost, we've literally almost routed this unit because of the acid. That's just so goddamn good. The acid thing is just really useful. Want to go more on here as well. If we can get an acid shot on these archers as well. Because it does so much damage to un, uh, unarmored targets as well. Yeah, just look at that. And we can go ahead and stick one behind it. If they don't retreat, they're just going to die. Look at them. That's just so much damage. Like, it's not so much as, as much upfront damage. I'm going to stick something behind them for when they route. Oh, they're routing forward, actually. Okay. I got kind of a bit screwed there. Assuming they were not going to do that. Okay, we want to focus up there now. But you just see the damage of this artillery. Yeah, they're actually physically routing. That is disgusting. So our last acid pots came out. But we're going to get another good shot off on these guys. And again, look at the damage. You can see the morale damage as well. On these guys, like if you get that on infantry, you're just going to be ruining them. Okay, they've got some archers in the center, which is fine. Some cavalry behind, which is again fine. Some of our infantry chasing them off. Oh, they are going to get a good charge off on some of our dudes over here. I don't know why I didn't bring spikes. That seems a little bit, uh, a little bit silly, but whatever. Okay, infantry. Okay, infantry. That's what we want to be focusing. Clumps of infantry are really useful. Okay, this is what I'm going to show you guys how to chain the buffs now. It's really easy to chain them. You just have to focus these guys down um, and just constantly get these guys to start shooting. So we're just going to take one and uh, focus it like here. Oh, yeah, we're already pushing them back. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Look at him. He's a mess. I guess they're coming forward, though. They're not going to come forward. 
Okay, they're going to be running. That's fine. Like here would be a good place to shoot. Okay, yeah, he's just running around. I think he's just trying to dodge my artillery. I also really want to kill these missiles as well. Missiles are so... Missiles are the only way to counter us right now. They actually have taken the advantage uh, in kills. But hopefully we can rectify that. Yeah, they got a lot of infantry moving up. Like a lot of infantry. And a lot of archers as well. And for some reason, oh, this guy was AFK, which definitely didn't help us. But we'll just continue to fire out and try and get uh, some decent casualties. I mean, we've already racked up 209 kills. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one, though. I think the enemy are going to be demolishing us just because of their, the sheer amount of, uh, of manpower they have. Cool. I'm going to go commit my unit of infantry now. It means I'm going to abandon this, uh, this my artillery, but I think it's much more important I go and buff the team just because of this, uh, this buff right here. And I might also move my artillery over here as well. Uh, I'm going to continue to focus down the missiles, though. Like so. We'll form up here, I guess. I don't really want to have to fight this Germanicus, but... Because this Germanicus is going to hurt. Oh, he's not even a Germanicus. Oh, yeah, it is a Germanicus. Okay. That's fine. But what I can do is I can puff my buff right there. That's going to be increasing the uh, stats of these guys and making my dude a bit better. Their archers are now in range, and we're going to about to get slaughtered. Uh, luckily, my dudes are going to be killing a few of them. They also were really smart of their own artillery as well by moving them up. Yeah, I don't really know what where our team is, what, what they're doing, but we're going to push out of here. Luckily, if you run through this way through the spikes, it doesn't hurt them. But yeah, we're going to run lever artillery. And basically, these guys are now going to be a mobile buffing unit. I'm just going to be using them to buff up my infantry, uh, constantly keeping that. So you can see this thing is still going for 60 seconds, which is pretty crazy as well. But we're just going to sit back. We have plenty of artillery to our left flank. You know, even with an AFK, uh, AFK player right now, we're still doing pretty oh decent. Uh, so again, we're just buffing these guys up. All of these dudes now have that buff, and I reset the buff on this unit. And you can see it, it's back in 130 seconds. I believe you can decrease it pretty nicely. But you can just see, even I'm, I'm defeating a Germanicus right now, even before my units came in and helped out. I'm also going to move this unit over here to maybe try and buff these archers a little bit. See, so this is what I'm saying. This guy should abandon his artillery now and come help out in the melee. People just kind of stick in here for, like, no apparent reason, really. Uh, which is actually kind of, like, really frustrating. Have these guys not got a buff? Okay, they haven't got a buff anymore. Let's go ahead and buff them all up again. There you go, rebuffed. I'll use these archers. Uh, I'll go, yeah, I'll go ahead and buff these archers with, uh, with this ability. You know, there's not many of them left, but every single, you know, increase on the stats really does help out. Again, these guys are just chopping through them. Do we have any other buffs left? Okay, all our buffs are pretty much done for now, apart from this one. I'm going to pop this because it increases their speed a little bit. Cleaning up their infantry. This is a really, really close battle. It's not looking too great for us just because they have a lot of missiles. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, okay, you come over here. Yeah, you come over here to help buff them, and you stick with the infantry. This infantry has its stats back almost in a second. We just need to kill their missiles. Yeah, we really need to focus archers. And our base. Our base is going to go. Oh, I ran into my own spikes there. Base. Yeah, we need to defend base. Oh, God. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, that's, that's friendly. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. I thought that was enemy there. Their own artillery is moving in. I mean, at this point, though. At this point, our cavalry should just go kill them. Like, we have cavalry. Just go kill their artillery. Like, this is, what is this guy doing as well? I really dislike this. Let's like, come in, man. Your artillery isn't important now. It's about, like, stopping them from defeating us more than anything, you know? But we're going to have to get in. If we can get around here and buff these guys, that's going to be great. So that's what I'm going to send this guy to go do. You can come in the flank of them. You're fine as well. Uh, I'm actually going to throw my peeler in the back of this guy. I know he's going to route us fine. Yeah, nice. Completely routed him, which is good. Everyone should come in back. Oh, cavalry. Where did our cavalry go? Cavalry, uh, cav, go kill their arty. Like, their arty is just opening up with no defense. Our team needs to go back and help out. Otherwise, we're just going to get absolutely ruined. I'm going to come over here and help buff our archers. Even though they are getting shot right now. But hopefully I can get in time to help buff them. I don't understand why this cav just doesn't go kill some open artillery. Just shooting us. And he's going to run into my spikes, isn't he? Oh, dude. This battle could so easily be won. Okay, let's pop off our, our Vinny to help out a little bit. Infantry's coming in. So the archers... Oh, nice. We managed to get a good charge off on their archers. That is huge. But just go kill their art artillery, dude. I don't understand. I just don't understand. 
Okay, we can finish up these guys uh, really easily. That's not going to be a, a problem. We'll just cut these guys down. I do want to try and break my way through on this left flank, though, and help out. Where's our other unit of, uh, other unit of artillery is coming? Okay, we really need to get here and buff these guys. We're going to try and make our way around now uh, with these guys. Oh, it's because they've got an entire unit. Uh, oh, I can't believe that artillery is still up. How has none of our archers gone to kill them? Like, they are literally undefended right now. It's just so it's such an annoyance. And if he comes in here, this will be great. Just hold in. Yeah, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to be a bit more defensive. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah, perfect. We're taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. We're going to just completely surround these guys and look to, uh, look to get them to route. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. That's going to help us out a bit. They still have uh, some pretty healthy units left. But we just need to spread out. We do need to be a bit more aggressive as well. Cav. Cav, just go kill. I mean, I'm going to have to go help out over here, aren't I? Yeah. We're... Cav, kill arty in center. <laughs> That's like, if he does that, we literally win the game, I think. I really think we do come out on top. Like, it's not hard to even see it as well. Hopefully, this guy can repair his own artillery. Because you can repair artillery in this. I guess we just want to try and stop it from like from dying. Cav, please, for the love of God, please. And we're actually going to pop my uh, one of my buffs as well to try and speed him up a little bit. Yeah, to speed him up a little bit. All you have to do is go center and go kill them. Like it's not hard. Oh, I can actually get on my own artillery. Yeah, what the hell have I done, done that for? There's some handlers over here. Okay, let's go kill the handlers and then get back on my own artillery. I maybe should have done that a little bit before. That was maybe my bad. I mean, all our cav has to do is go charge down. That, that artillery. It really isn't that hard. Is the cab dead now? No, the cab is still alive. Just go send them, please. For the love of God. Okay, we have some buffs as well, which is going to be nice. Okay, we can get back on our artillery. Good. He's actually trying to destroy my artillery. Oh, we actually have missiles as well. He's actually trying to kill my artillery, but I can repair it. Just go kill it, cab. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> some people, man. Yeah, he's just going to be hammering that, which is a smart move by him. We have missiles as well, so we don't need to really stop, uh, worry too much. I'm going to let him kill it and then just jump back on it. Like, repair it. Because it does take a little while to repair, I think. Or can I not repair now? Why can't I repair? Do they have to get back on it first, or what? I think we have to get back on it first, and then we can. Oh, of course, though. Well, I mean, just... Oh, maybe we should have sent our soldiers out there. Like, good. We managed to... We pretty much killed these. Cav! Oh, my God. We, we're going to lose this game because this Cav is just not doing his job. I mean, that's what you get sometimes. I guess maybe I could have done a bit better uh, work. But we're going to repair our artillery and try and uh, destroy the enemy artillery. Okay, let's pop up. We don't actually have our buff yet, but hopefully our, our dude stops shooting me as well. I think we'll win this anyway. Dude, stop. Please. Has our cav routed? Our cav is routed because he just sat in our base. That's a bit frustrating. I don't actually have any vision on their artillery pieces either. So we're going to have to just quickly pop off on them. As soon as we get vision of their artillery, we're going to have to hammer it. Luckily, our infantry are going to win here, though. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And we'll pop our buff off on these guys as well. Just hit their, hit their artillery pieces. Everything can be really helpful. Nice. We killed their general there. We are still a little bit behind, but we should have this, I think, maybe. They're going to run away, I think, and just try and stay alive. Because currently, they are winning. They have 55 more men than us. I think it's up to our... Yeah, it's really up to our artillery. Oh, we need to kill this unit with our artillery. We really need to. It's so important we do. This guy just needs to run, and we need to get some artillery hits off. Because there's only 50 seconds left of this battle. And we're going to have to do some normal control, I think. Like here, maybe, I think. Uh, that's probably not. That's probably too far away. Because they're just going to run away, which is a smart move by them. They shouldn't engage this. And, yeah. Uh, we get a few kills, but nowhere near enough, unfortunately. Yeah, they're going to come out on top. But that was a good battle. I think I hope that showed a good, uh, a good amount of artillery. We're going to play again. Uh, we definitely could have won that battle. 100% would have won that battle. If the enemy would have just... I mean, if our cavalry just would have gone and killed their artillery. It's such free kills. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, they didn't. And there's not really much we can do about that. As well as that, our artillery is not in place. There's only 8 seconds left. 
and we are gonna we are not gonna win this unfortunately 38 men in it though that's pretty good battle i enjoyed that for sure we'll play another one though and yeah we are defeated unfortunately Oh, I mean, I just felt like I didn't write enough in chat either. They're, they're the most frustrating things when I'm telling the person to go move his cavalry in. Also, if we didn't have an AFK there, we 100% would have won that battle. Unfortunately, though, we did, and uh, the battle did not uh, quite go in our favor. I think I'm going to mess around with the burning coals now, and we'll see how, how that works. We'll also go ahead and replenish our spikes, which we have. Awesome. So, cool, let's jump into another battle. Let us satisfy both nature and glory. Actually, we are we are we are pretty decently into the day. Let's go up to tier four. Let's do some tier four heavy catapults. I think that'll be fun uh, to do. So let's go ahead and pick up our stuff again. Obviously, we want the acid burns, uh, and then we want um, the burning coals, I think, and then obviously the spikes as well. Obviously, we want tier four infantry though, um, and then obviously we want the spikes on these guys because uh, I think we're, we're decently enough into the day that there'll be enough people wanting to get some good games. We want to get some tier 5s, but I don't think the jump between tier 5 and 4 is that crazy as long as it's balanced out decently. Um, and I think people at tier 4 know what they're doing a lot more. Uh, so we're going to be jumping onto a marathon with our artillery. Again, a pretty good map for artillery. It's pretty open. Um, and I also on this map like to hold the swamp or uh, like you know, when I'm on the other side We're on the, this side right now uh, But on this side I like to hold this position right here because you can get some really good counters on the enemy um, On this position I guess over here is our goal um, But again I really like being over here maybe because controlling this forest is really important I think one of the most important parts So yeah you can see on our team we have, some, we have quite a few tier 5s actually And I am also the only artillery as well which is cool. Um, and the enemy have a, a set of three, but we're fine. We have a set of two teams. So I'm hoping this will be a good battle again. The last battle, man, was just so, so goddamn frustrating. When that battle was just so easily won. If that cavalry just went and killed their artillery, they would have incinerated them on the charge. And we would have just won that battle easily. Like, absolutely easily. Unfortunately, though. That was not the case, and uh, we just have to move on to the next one. I mean, that's one of the good things about Arena, is you just you move on to the next one. You don't really worry too much about uh, about uh, playing, you know, just about you don't get hung up on games. Obviously, it can be annoying and frustrating sometimes, but it's so easy just to jump into another game that you quite easily forget about it. Okay, cool. Let's set up them. Um, We'll set up, obviously, we'll set up our spikes like here, and then I guess we'll set up spikes there, and then form a nice little defensive perimeter. So I'm going to go a little bit more cheeky with my artillery, like there and there, I think. Just because I don't want to keep them in the most obvious positions in the entire world. Um, I'm actually going to go set up my spikes here first, I think. Because we'll have, we'll have pikes defending this front place, so I think I don't think I'll need to. I think I can literally just sit here and set up my spikes. Yeah, the artillery, because the archers should... Yeah, the pikemen will defend me there. Okay, cool. They've got some nice pikemen, which we can immediately focus down. We can't see them, but we can press R and, and focus in. I'm also going to pop one of my buffs as well, just to really get this super thin. As well as this guy. Oh, we actually missed. We actually completely missed. So whilst we're doing that, we're going to uh, focus down the hoplites. Oh, the archer kills, though. Jesus, the archer kills. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pop our spikes here. Just to kind of block off this entire area. Uh, the archers are annoying, obviously. We want to try our best to, to kill them. Because we don't really have any anything to deal with the archers. But the pikemen are just, just open targets right now. Like, they're just moving by themselves. You never want to do this in arena. You never want to be the first person in. Because like this just happens. You get absolutely demolished by artillery. Oh, killing this as well would be nice. If we can get any good hits off. It's obviously very hard to get good hits off on these guys. I also don't think I'm in range of my acid right now. Nowhere near in range, unfortunately. But some getting some kills on the artillery is always nice. Oh, I'm focusing here as well. Okay, let's try and get some acid shots off from these dudes. Um, just make it much easier. Make them move. Especially if they form defensive test unit. Oh, they're forming defensive test unit. You poor boys. You poor boys, please. Acid rain, come down. Oh, please, acid, come down. Oh, this is going to be so deadly. Oh, in the center of them as well. Just look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh, my Lord. And we'll go to the other one as well. And it's just because they're in defensive test unit. They're so much slower. And the damage is just ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. Oh, my Lord. 
It's so disgusting, that ability. It really is. Um, I guess we'll... we'll I want to hold off on using the rest of these guys, actually. The rest of the artillery can come in. This one can just solely focus down these guys. Um, and I guess we want to try and maybe help out over here uh, with our acid. Even though it's probably not in range, right? Yeah, it's a bit just out of range, unfortunately. Which is fine. We can continue. Our archers will be able to deal with all these pikemen, so that's good. We will try our best to help out here, though. Uh, we want to be careful of friendly fire. So let's just focus here. Oh, no, we want to kill this infantry. I'm also going to be a little bit cheeky with this. I'm going to literally block off their advance right here. If they want to come at us, they have to come through this gap. I'm also going to pop our Vinny again so the artillery is a little bit better. What are they doing? Oh, we're just trying to dodge artillery, but failing miserably. Okay, well, we'll just stick down some acid smoke there. And yeah, where can they go now? Look at the damage on that thing. It's just so good. Okay, up here could definitely use some help. Let's try an acid rain up here. And then this one can still just shoot there. And um, we're going to continue just to chain our buffs on these guys as well. Like here if I can. Yeah, right here I think will be really good. Because it forces them all to come into this section. Hopefully I don't get any shots back. Yeah, that's really good. That's going to be lowering all their morale. Look at their morale damage we're, ha we're hitting on them. And the damage. No, hold the line, dude. Don't retreat. Hold as best you can. I should probably be pushing up my infantrymen as well here. Um, yeah, we should be pushing up our infantry to help out. To help buff. Let's do that. I should, have, I should have done that a long time ago as well. My bad. That, that, that acid stuff was just so good. Really, really good. Uh, we can focus back over here now. We also have a burning coals, which I should probably be using. But yeah, sorry. I should have been moving up my infantry here a long time ago to help buff them. And we can also go on the side of these guys. Just hold for now. Or we can also buff the archers as well. I don't. I guess I don't really want to, uh, to get too stuck in with them, though. Uh, burning coals. Let's go in. Let's just rain down burning coals right here, I think. Because these guys are pretty much dead. Oh, there's no way for me to escape. God, get out of here. Get out of here. Quickly. I actually just trapped myself with my own spikes. That's some good damage, though, with the burning coals. Yeah, we just want to keep on retreating from here. Let our artillery do its thing. Let our archers do their thing. Are you guys shooting over here? You should be. Okay, yeah, we're just retreating right now, which is fine. Yeah, just continue to shoot up there if you can, boys. We've got some cavalry out to help help us here, which is fine. Oh, why did you waste their last burning coals like there? Just shoot like here would be amazing. Oh, yeah, sorry. I should be changing, cha uh, chaining my buffs as well. My bad. My bad indeed. How many kills have we got? 206 kills. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's not really anything great for us to shoot at. But, I mean, it looks like the team is doing a great job here. I guess we'll focus down the artillery. And I guess we'll just box ourselves in right here. Are these guys going to run onto spikes? Or have they, have they actually played this game before? That's a good... That's a really good move right there by the cavalry. They trap themselves in there, which maybe not be, might be the smartest idea in the world. But that's a really good idea. Um, we have to be a bit careful here as well. If these guys come back from routing, we're pretty screwed. Where is she going to, uh, to drop? Yeah, that's exactly what I was just about to say. Uh, we're in a really bad situation here. We're going to pop on melee buff whilst we can on this guy. And get these guys over to the archers, I think. We can run through these spikes. Maybe we can force them to do some friendly fire. But let's try and run onto these spikes so that the cavalry kind of has a bit of a fit trying to do this. Now, obviously, the smartest move would just be to move back. You guys are moving over here. Oh, but I didn't quite run into the spikes. That's unfortunate. I could have definitely have played better in that. I will obviously go formation attack as well. Uh, we're just going to come over here and hopefully try and pop Vinny. Dude, dude, dude. I can buff everyone's melee attack. I guess we'll... Oh, that's just so brutal. I think, I think it was better for us to take the majority of the charge, though. Um... And yeah, we're, we're going to win this. We didn't do amazing this game, but 200, almost 300 kills is not bad. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just hold these archers up. I mean, with our melee buff, we don't actually have an appalling melee attack. Like, our melee attack is like four... Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty good even, sorry. I mean, mainly the missile damage, but it's not bad. And we're mainly just here to support the team. Our melee buff is back. Oh, come on, let's try... Please, 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 let me do it. Oh, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. So I can buff all this cavalry. Come on. 
Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Now all this cavalry has an increase to their, their melee attack and melee defense. Even though we have died now, I think that's been worth it. So yeah, that was a pretty good game by us. Definitely, uh, maybe not as good as the first game damage-wise, but I think we definitely played good. You guys also saw the power of the acid uh, attack. Even over here as well in the forest, when we got them attacks on, it lowered all their morale. So when the battle actually happened, the enemy just had lower morale. And, you know, that was good. It should have been two victories, but, uh, you know, what, what can you say? I'm still salty about that first game, as you guys can tell. Oh, the pikemen get caught, not with their pikes down as well. These guys are going to be struggling a little bit, but, I mean, the fact that these guys are surrounded should be uh, should be all she right for them. We're moving back infantry just off the decap, and we're capping the enemy base. So, we're, we're not top of the team. We're about third. I mean, as long as I'm top three, that's all that matters. I'm happy with my performance. And I think this is around about how many kills you have to get uh, to make artillery worth it. Around the 300, like, if you're getting towards 250, two, anything above 250, I think is a decent... Um, a decent kill uh, kill pressure on the map you need to have. Anything below 250, and I think it would have been better if you just took infantry. Obviously, that's all situational as well, because you may force the enemy into making mistakes by just having artillery. So, kills on everything, and obviously, it doesn't show damage as well. Um, hopefully, we do go back to the score, uh, the score scoreboard <laughs> score scoreboard uh, in later patches, because I really prefer that over, over that. So Caesar is leveling up to tier 5. I'm going to be playing some tier 5 infantry with Caesar when I get there, I think. Um, have we got any upgrades on our artillery yet? Yes, we do. So we're going to pick up this one. Just increasing the turning speed, which is actually pretty good uh, as it allows us 20k, though. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, and um, hopefully we'll further get down. That, that, that was on upgraded artillery as well. Imagine if we had all these upgrades. They would have been so much better at focusing in on just doing damage on certain areas. And then this as well would be extra range and damage. Oh, it's my tier artillery. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to let me know if you did by dropping a like and a comment down below. Also, let me know in the comments what you want to see next as I'm always scanning them to see what is the most popular. Thumbs up the ones you want to see as well. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time and fish out.